All right, so last class we stopped at creating the legs, at least one of the legs. And the issue that we have is that that leg is supposed to attach to the bottom of the table, just like that. Uh, but it's going through the table and, I don't know, maybe one, two feet above it. Uh, so let's click on edit. Uh, actually, we don't need to click on any of these. Uh, what could be the issue? What is the issue? Constraint. Constraint. What constraint? It's one foot above. Yes, so this one is one foot above, and what should it be? Negative one. Yes. Let's edit the top and see if we still have the same dimensions. So that's three inches from there. I think that's right. That's this one. And then the other one should be six and a half or three and a quarter from the center. So that's three and a quarter from the center and it should be six and a half. So that one's good. Let's check on the base. So the base it's half uh, one and a half inches. So that's one and a half inches. And the top, actually not the top. The the length is two two and a half or one one and a quarter. So that's one one and a quarter, and together that's two. Two and a half. So that looks good. And if we go to 3D view, it should be fine. So now we need to create the hole, right? Because this is not a solid piece of wood. This is the actual shape of that. So for that, we're going to need to create a void, just like what we did with the uh, with the bevel here. Uh, but we're not going to use the same uh, the same tool. So the one we used here was uh, void sweep. For this one, we just need a void extrusion. Right, it's just taking a solid shape out of another one. Doesn't have any fancy angles or anything like that. Uh, so for that, we're going to have to go here, click on Void Extrusion, and this is asking us to create or start the, uh, the line. So for this, we're going to go to one of the elevations, and so it should be back or, sorry, left or right. And if you look at the PDF, the bottom is just flat, right? So what we can do is just pick lines instead of drawing the lines. And we can pick that. Then for the inside, it's basically an offset of this line that's one and a half inches away from it. So we can just pick lines again. And on the offset, we enter 1.5 inches. Oh, it's not letting me select it. Oh, there we go. Highlighted lines. Oh, there's a real line there. Just that I cannot see it. Uh, where is that line being created? Huh. It's doing something weird. Again. Alright, so again, pick lines. 
offset 1.5 inches what's going on with this thing Upsetting something else. All right, let's do it differently then. And we're going to. Why is it not letting me draw here? Upset zero. Instead of picking lines, I just uh, uh, drew the lines. I don't know why it wasn't letting me do it before. Uh, but now I can offset this one. Hopefully it lets us this time. So this is 1.5 inches. There we go. This one, 1.5 inches. And now we can get rid of these. Then if you click on trim extend, then you can trim so that there's nothing overlapping or going past one another. But the one on the top has a specific dimension. So that one is four and a half inches from the bottom of the table. So we can just dimension it. So that's 4.5. Now we can remove the dimension. Trim. And it looks correct, right? So it's that shape there. So now this is just a plane, right? It's just a shape. We need to extrude it so that it takes away that piece from the uh, from the uh, solid piece in the back. So, by how much do we need to extrude that thing? Look at that. How big? What's the minimum depth that we need to cut a hole? So if you're cutting that hole and you're using, uh, let's say, a router, you guys know what a router is, right? No? A CNC machine? No? Who, not, who doesn't know what, uh, what a CNC machine is? No. <laughs> it's a drill bit. Uh, so if I asked you how long the drill bit should be so that it cuts a hole through that, so that it gets from one side to the other. Uh, how long should it be? Three inches. Yes, so it has to be at least three inches so that it goes from this surface all the way to there. So that means that our extrusion should be three inches. Now, what am I missing? Where are those three inches being extruded from? In terms of the location. Where, where is the start of the extrusion? Anybody? If I go to reference level, that's the start of the extrusion. Is it going to cut through my leg or not? And what do I need to do to that? 
Huh? Left league. What's that? Uh, left league. Yes, but how do I get from here to here? No. Remember that if I if I just move this over or offset it, when I change the size of the table, that leg is going to move and that board is going to remain where it is. So I have to be able to move the void as the move legs uh, as the leg moves. So I need the right now the leg is set to move with this plane, right? So the plane for this void has to be the same plane as the plane for the leg. So I need to set that plane to the left leg. So now the extrusion begins there and it goes out three inches. And if I move, if I change the size of the, of the table, the leg will move, but the void will move as well. So it's going to be cutting it every time I move the leg. So now I just need to click OK. Oop, I created three feet. It still works because it's more than three inches. Right? Uh, but that's not the correct way of doing it. So I'm just going to change this. Oops. Changes. That's all I need. So now we can do the same for the other leg, but we cannot mirror this. We have to go through the same process. Uh, so you guys should know how to do that. So you're going to be creating the second leg. So that's it for this video. On the next one, we'll get to the last step, which is the center support, and then we'll move on to something else. So let's take uh, 15 minutes to create the other leg on that side.